Welcome guys, as we continue on the Fool and Hero timeline with our 10th Zelda Let's Play due to begin. After the events of Oracle of Ages and Oracle of Seasons linked game, Twin Rover's plan was foiled, the one to resurrect Ganon. With Onyx and Varan, their henchmen defeated, Link set sail at the end of it. The new adventures, new lands away from Holodrum and Labrina. And finds himself, well, shipwrecked here. On Koholint Island, probably not the exact way he'd have wanted to get to a new land of adventure, as he continues training up for Ganon's return, ready to face him whenever he can. And hopefully our hero is nice and safe. Because the start of the game is about to begin. The familiar music rings out. We get to work on The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening DX version, nice and colorful. Let's get started and straight into it. The save file already made. What a relief. I thought you'd never wake up. You were tossing and turning. What? Zelda? No, my name's Marin. You must still be feeling a little woozy. You are on Kohilint Island, indeed we are, and so another adventure can begin. Hello my dear, follow the lane south to reach the beach where I found you. Since you washed ashore, lots of nasty monsters have been in the area. So be careful, okay? I will do. Hello sir. Well, Lollis, you finally snapped out of it. Name's Tarin. Hope you're feeling better. What? How did I know your name? You think it's weird, eh? When I saw it on the back of this shield. Why thank you, we'll take an item to start our adventure off. You got your shield back. Press the button and repel enemies with it. We will do. Right then, let's get out of the house. and see where we're going though. A path to the south was mentioned. Seems to be the way we need to be going, eh? So first of all, we'll find this weird telephone booth. Bring, bring, hello, it's me, Ulrila. Ask me anything about the island. If you get lost, give me a call. Bye. Okay then, well, we're probably not lost. We're supposed to go south-ish, so bring up the map and start to look around here. Telephone booth. We know that indeed. Right. So I'm not exactly all that familiar with the game. Oh, Chain Chomps just jumped at me and I kind of retreated very fast. So any helps or tips as usual from you guys in the comments is appreciated. Now let's get looking around for a mini chomp thing. Makeup, jewels, dresses. I want it all. And some new accessories would be nice. Okay, then you must be a lady chomp, and this is your daddy, maybe? I can't talk to your daddy. I'm, I'm quite surprised I managed to talk to you. But still. Oh, ho, ho, my Bow Wow is so proud of his fine fur coat. Which one, this one? Yip, 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 yip. Well, that one doesn't talk. That one, however, does. Weirdly so. Wants accessories and jewels and the one not. Ooh, a well, you say? I guess I can't pick up the grass, which would be a shame because jumping in wells usually gets us heart pieces in Zelda games. Well, this seems to be going south. Hey, man, when you want to save, just push all the buttons at once. Uh, don't ask me what that means. I'm just a kid. Sure thing. Well, it seems that after you save, you will start at the last door you went through. We're familiar with that. I'm not really sure why that is. Because I'm just a kid! You may be, you may be, but tell us more! And there seems to be a book up over here. This is not a chest. What? You knew that? Okay, yeah, I, I knew that. I know that. Auto map and memo guidebook. Oh, okay, there's lots of guidebooks here. We, we're fine without reading any guides. We can get moving. We are a sense of adventure. We don't want guides to tell us exactly where to go, here, there, or everywhere. I'm wondering exactly where I'm going. Excuse me. Push you away. Fine by me. I don't know where I'm going, but we'll just keep going south. It's fine. Well, we've reached the beach area at the very least. What's this say? Beware of sea urchins. Don't touch them with your bare hands. So, works for me. I don't know where I'm going. Uh, all right, let's go along this way. Let's see where we can end up. Excuse me. Pardon me. Other way. Oh, we can't even break through here, but there's a house. So that's not bad. Excuse me. Don't fire make ourselves our own little pathway by pushing this guy out our path. I'm gonna have to do that quite a bit. Excuse me, pardon me, at the way, sea urchins, because I'm guessing this is what I was coming for all along. Hoot hoot! You're the lad who owns the sword. Now I understand why the monsters 
are starting to act so violently, huh? A courageous lad has come to wake the windfish. It is said that you cannot leave the island unless you wake the windfish. You should now go north to the mysterious forest. I will wait for you there, hoot! Hey, poor Kibora! Or just an hour. But all the same, when you see a sword, you should take a sword. You found your sword! It must be yours because it has your name engraved on it. Lovely job and familiar music kicks in. But we have sword and shield. We can finally get properly exploring with no monsters to fear. More to the point, we can cut grass of places we saw way back there. Get into new houses or find bombable spots is interesting. Well, it's time to really start exploring. Hello, monkey guy. Hello, not, not so much hello dropping things on me. Well, we need some braces for that. Oh, we've explored some dead ends, but we're getting around to be able to see stuff that's very clear about what we should be doing. So, let us get round to the house. Let's see who's inside but a crocodile. Welcome to Sale's House of Bananas. I'm Sale. This is my house. Actually, my hobby is collecting rare and unusual canned food. My brother is an artist, so I guess strange hobbies run in the family. What do you mean, canned food hobby of collecting is on par with being an artist in times of things, but could it be trading sequences are ready for us? If we ever pick up some canned food, we know where to take it at the very least. So let's get, ow, 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 that wasn't intentional. We get ourselves some rupees as well. Wait, oh, we can just blow them up now, bye sea urchins. No problem for me. Maybe find some mysterious old men. Okay, no, we know we've got to be aware of them. I just want the 100 rupees given to me. Free, it'd be lovely, thank you, please. Let's work on getting ourselves some money. What's down here? We haven't actually checked this square. Not much, it seems. Right, so another square there not checked out, and the square right above us. So just in case there's any cool puzzle elements or items to get, which it doesn't seem there is, though the rupees! We'll take those and get out of there. So we've at least spotted some locations that we're going to need to check out, but for now, let's do what the owl says. And get moving. And we should be able to get around lots of places now that we can cut through grass and just take shortcuts. More to the point, we actually need to be able to jump as well, it seems. I'll take myself some lovely rupees all the same and an acorn thing. You've got a guardian acorn! It will reduce the damage you take by half! And start some music off, it seems. There we go, some money earned. You get down the pit. Sorry about that. We're checking out the area. It seems we found ourselves a dungeon, huh? A keyhole here? It says tail keyhole. Okay then. So that's large swath of the map checked out. We haven't checked the village proper. I say get onwards. Adventure. I'm wondering when this Guardian Acorn's gonna wear out. The music, it keeps on going. Will it ever run out? That's a question in and of itself. Aha, the music has changed once more. So, now that we have ourselves a sword, how about we do what we do in most Zelda games? And plunge down a well. For indeed, a heart piece. A super obvious kind of trademark of Zelda, you could say. Or sometimes other things are down there, like horrible dead hands and zombies, gibdos, everything you don't want to see. Let's get moving, mysterious forest. It's a little bit mysterious, I'm sure it is. Let's get a move on and find out where we're going. Hello, Mr. Owl. Hoot, ho, brave lad, on your quest to wake the dreamer. Welcome to the mysterious wood. Much of mystery you will find on this uncharted Coherent Island. I'm afraid you may find it a trifle difficult to leave the island while the windfish naps. By the by, have you ever visited the Tell Cave, which is south of the village? Go there with the key you find in this forest. The windfish is watching. Hoot! I'm sure he is. At least we found the key. Or at least the location thereof. And a kind of cool music beat has come into this. So let's get looking around. See if we can find anything, though more rupees would do badly. Saving up as much money as possible early game is the best thing to do. 
Let's keep looking around. She finds something. Hello, enemy. No. That's a raccoon. My nose is very sensitive. Stuff like dust and powder. To stuff like dust and powder. I was like, ta. It means like, thank you in some people's vocabulary. <laughs> You're going to be lost thanks to me. <laughs> what do you mean? Are you laughing about you? Well, I'm trying to attack you with my sword, but you're just telling me about the t dust and powder thing again. So if I go up there, I'll be lost. And a bad tone happened. Well, I don't mind about that, really. Let's just keep exploring. I'm looking around. So if I'm that lost... Oh, I seem to have actually cut out a bit of the map here. In terms of exploration senses. The raccoon's not here. Where do we end up? Okay, hello, bad guys. You can get down the... Oh, I was hoping there was something special in that one. Oh, we got ourselves another acorn. There seem to be power-ups all around. Let's keep exploring the parts of the map that we haven't had the joy of seeing yet. I hope for something good. Ow, spear! That's rude. Though, to be honest, didn't do any damage whatsoever because of the half damage thing. All the same, we've brought ourselves round. And beware of floors with cracks, a heavy person should not stand on them. Well, I don't mind that, but I'm going to head in here and see what's inside, though. First and foremost, it seems, well, we got cracks, but as long as we keep moving, we're safe, right? That's the way it works. And let's go get ourselves these rupees and get ourselves a chest if we can push these blocks out the way. And we got ourselves 50 rupees, so all rupees are blue. We don't have any color coding. We won't know exactly what's what, but still, let's keep ah! exploring, he says. For more heart pieces, right. So we're not pushing that out of the way. Wow, this looks pretty heavy. You won't be able to lift it with just your bare hands. Right, so skulls we need to lift, eh? We can push these ones to get down here. And if we can't push the skulls out of the way, or that one up top, it seems that that heart piece is not ours from the L. We need to find something to pick up things further, but still... We'll take ourselves the toadstool. As you hold it over your head, a mellow aroma flows into your nostrils. Fine, thank you for that. That's cool. Where are we exactly on the map now? All, all the way over the other side. We seem to have dodged another block there. Who knows where we're really going? Oh, dead ends, but there's another chest over there. It seems like we need the ability to hop around more than anything. Right, so we're not getting anything that way. Um, push this one in, that one out, and that one up. We'll be fine. Let's just head back from whence we came and continue exploring. The map unexplored, though. These guardian acorns, they're everywhere! It's like, wow, well, just have a power up. Oh, fine by me. Oh, don't hit me. At 71 rupees, I'm looking quite good for cash. I hope there's some shops in town or something like that I can buy something nice from. That'd be nice for me. Hello, guy with a sword. You're more dangerous than that guy up there. Okay, something again to pick up. That sucks. Right, so we're going to need ourselves quite a few items before we can explore a lot of these things around here, including this passageway up here. We're going to need something to be able to pick this up. Well, let's just keep going around the other paths for the time being. Oh, that's round to the treasure chest. Excuse me, sir. We'll get you out of our way. Lots of enemies around. There's quite a few of the moblins in general. Right, we seem to have got ourselves out of the mysterious forest. Was that what we needed to be doing or not? That's the question, but another heart piece lies there. And are you guys electric? I don't really want to find out. I'm just going to keep going. A gravestone over there, another route to take. And a foreboding house. But I think we recognize who's inside it. Double, double, toil and trouble. A toast or mix makes powder for tricks. Okay, I think I actually have one of them for you. Yeah, yeah, cool. A toast or mix make powder for tricks. So how am I going to give you it? Hmm. Let's bring open the menu, put it on a button. Ah, it has the sleepy toast all it does. We'll mix it up something in a jiffy, we will. Okay. 
You really, really meant it. You really went fast. It's all ready, it is. Take care, as there's not much there. Why not try a bit in my hut? You've got some magic powder. Try sprinkling it on a variety of things. Okay. Torch. Lights the torch. Good job. Use it on your enemies and see what happens. If you run out, go to the forest, pick some mushrooms, and I will make you more. Okay, no problem. What about on you, rat? Can we not get the rat? Oh. I don't want to run out anymore. Okay. Ah, I don't want to... Do, do, let's take that off, maybe. Let's take that off. Let's not use it. But there was someone that said about power not being liked on the nose. So... Is that the way we need to go? Oh, can we get rid of your zappiness with that? Oh, we can turn you into the weird looking thing, but... You still hurt. I don't like that. Alright, what's this over here? Crazy Tracy and Manbo's Pond. Well, we can't access any of them right now. And it seems we'd need the power bracelet to jump upwards there. We can reach that heart piece, though, with just one jump, so... We can get ourselves the rock's feather by the look of it. We'll be laughing. Oh, guys, can you give me some hearts or something? I've, I've lost one. An extra one would not hurt me. So which way is it round to those goons again? Those friendly goons. Ow, 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 ow. That hurts, sir. I'm not sure we can call ourselves friends anymore. We need ourselves some grass to cut, really. Let's not get hit again. Though we'll pick ourselves up something else here. What is it? You've got a piece of power. You can feel the energy flowing through you. Okay, what's this do then? It's powered up the sword? First and foremost, we want to know if there's any hearts lying anywhere, because we're down a one, and I don't want to keep going without it. But you don't like this, do you? You really don't like it. Sir, that's not a healthy way to... Okay, you turn into a person. Last thing I can remember was biting into a big juicy toadstool. Then I had the darndest dream. I was a raccoon. Yeah, sounds strange, but it sure was fun. Okay then, sir, anything else you can say? I will tuck it out. I think I'd better set a spell before I head home. Okay, set a spell. But fine, you can do that. Does that mean we can continue upwards? It does indeed. Our super powered something, but we've got the tell key. How you could open the tell? Okay, that's cool. We can open the next dungeon or first dungeon. Hoot, take the key and go to the tell cave. Retrieve the instrument that's hidden there. Go now. The windfish is waiting. Hoot. Sure, he is. You could heal me up a little bit though, but what's along this path? I mean, I'm always going to explore it if it's a path I can take. You kind of exploded then, sir. Is that my pa amazing power right now? The Gopongo Swamp is this way and the Mysterious Forest is back down. Oh, light lights, I don't... Whoa! Now we blast our enemies away. We don't just defeat them, we destroy them. We may as well continue exploring for now. Bring, bring! Arira speaking. You know, there is a library in the village that might have some good information for you. Talk to you later. Okay, sir. We know we've met the library. We've seen it. We've bumped into it. The light lights are back. The swamp is over here. Danger. Keep out. Except Bow Wow. Well, I think we know who we need to bring here, but time being, should we retreat from the swamp and go the right way? No, I don't want you taking my shield, no matter what, sir. Out the way. That guy is going to be very annoying with his constant spear throwing. We need ourselves a heart. Sooner rather than later. Because our health is not good. It would be good if we could dig some stuff up at the moment, but we don't have a shot. Ah, heart. That's what we needed. Back two, and there we go. Health back up. There are always dangerous times when you're on free hearts. It's always, always dangerous in my opinion. And another treasure chest down here, if we can lift that up. Well, that might be a way off. Let's see what we can get in the dungeon, eh? So, down here it is. And on our way we go. Back on more adventure. Oh, lovely heart. More adventure with rupees in hand. And a destination pretty much set straight for us. Let's open up our next dungeon or our first dungeon and see what's inside. Excuse me, bad guys. You have to get out of my way. I'm coming through with speed, don't you know? I wonder what 
else I can use this magic powder on? Not just for lighting things, but other things as well, maybe? As we step inside our first dungeon. Level one, the Tell Cave. I bid you farewell as we've started off another Zelda Let's Play, our 10th one. Give it a like or a comment or anything you can to support the series. And I'll see you around tomorrow as always, everyday gameplays coming out on the channel. For more, see you then. For more, Link's Awakening. Bye-bye.